In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to make a smooth rotating slideshow animation step by step. Let's jump right in. Open After Effects and start by creating a brand new composition, which I am naming Slider. Hit OK to confirm. The very first step is to create a solid layer that will act as the background. You can pick any color you like for this solid. After that, head over to the Effects and Presets panel and search for the Gradient Ramp effect. Apply this effect to your background layer and then change the start color to something that fits your design. I am using a lighter shade here because it gives a clean and minimal look. Once that is done, it's time to bring in your media. Import your videos into the project panel. And in my case, I am adding around eight clips Though you can also use still images instead of videos if that works better for your design. Now, create a new composition and I'm naming it Slide 01. For this composition, let's keep both the width and height around 250 pixels so that it forms a perfect square, then hit OK to confirm the settings. Next, drag one of your video files into this composition and scale it so that it fits the frame properly. This is how the first slide looks once adjusted. Now repeat the same process for the rest of your clips by creating multiple slide compositions. In total, make around eight copies of this slide composition and replace each one with a different video clip so that every video has its own unique slide. This way, all your clips are neatly organized in separate square compositions. Great, I'm fast forwarding this step here just to save some extra time and keep the process moving smoothly. Now switch back to the main timeline and begin by creating a new null object, which I am naming Rotation for better organization. We want its anchor point positioned exactly at the center, so right click on the null, go to the transform options and select center anchor point in layer content. Once that is done, make sure to align this null object itself to the center of the composition. After that, unselect any layers from the shape tools, Select the circle shape. Please note that for this shape, my fill is set to none and the stroke is set to a solid color. For the stroke, I am using a red shade with a width of nine pixels, which will serve only as a guide. This circular guide will help us correctly position our slides in a circle layout. Now, rename this shape as Guide to stay organized. Then right click and set it as a guide layer so it won't appear in the final render. Make sure to align it to the center. With the guide ready, we can move forward. Select slide 01 from the project and place it right above the background layer in the timeline. The next step is to move its center anchor point right to the edge of the circular guide. You can zoom in slightly for precision. Make sure to use only the keyboard arrow keys instead of the mouse, since this helps avoid disturbing its exact positioning and alignment. Select the slide 01 layer and make a duplicate of it. Then parent this duplicate to the rotation null object. After that, change its rotation value to 45 degrees and you will see the duplicate layer placed exactly at the correct position along the circular guide. Now select this duplicated layer and replace its content with slide 02 by holding down the Alt or Option key on your keyboard and dragging slide 02 from the project panel onto the duplicate. This way, it inherits all the same properties of slide 01, but updates with the new video content. Next, we need to repeat this process for the remaining slides. First, unparent the duplicate layer from the null to avoid any unnecessary transformation, then create another duplicate and replace its content with slide 03. Once replaced, parent it back to the rotation null and adjust its rotation value to another 45 degrees. After this step, the math will automatically spread the layers equally around the circle. Continue duplicating, parenting and replacing each slide with slide 04, slide 05 and so on until all eight clips are positioned in a circular path with even spacing. Once the circle is completed, go back and reset the main rotation value of the null object to zero to ensure that there is no unnecessary rotation offset between the slides keeping them properly aligned and ready for the next step. Now we need to correct one important thing, because right now all of the layers still have some unwanted rotation applied, which we don't actually need in our composition. 
To fix this issue, first open the rotation property of the layer, then press and hold the Alt or Option key on your keyboard and click on the stopwatch icon to add an expression. Now link this rotation with the rotation of the null layer. If I adjust the rotation value of this null, you'll notice that the slide also rotates along with the null's rotation, which is not what we want. Our goal is to keep the layer's rotation fixed and unaffected by the null's rotation. Simply type a negative sign in front of the existing expression. By doing this, the expression will work against the null rotation, cancelling out the effect. For example, let's change the value to negative 10 and see the difference. Now, repeat the same process for every slide layer. Copy the expression from one layer and paste it into the rotation property of the next layer. Continue this step by step until all of your slide layers are properly corrected and none of them have unnecessary rotation applied. This way, everything will align perfectly. Great, now minimize all layers and select these slide layers and parent them with the rotation. Press R to open rotation. Now I'm going to add a few keyframes to create the rotation animation. And for the second keyframe, let's set the rotation value to around one full rotation. After that, select both keyframes and press F9 to apply Easy Ease for smoother motion. And if your graph does not appear in this style, right-click inside and select Edit Speed Graph. Adjust the curve to achieve a smoother arc like this. Great. Now preview the animation and you'll see it looks much better and more polished. Next, let's round off the edges of all slides to make them look cleaner. We can do this very easily by searching for the simple choker effect, applying it to any slide layer and setting the choke mat value to around 30. Once done, copy this effect and paste it onto all the remaining slide layers. That's it. The design is ready. Thank you for following along with this tutorial. I will see you in the next one. Until then, good luck and peace.